Hello. Uh, if you have a situation that you want to execute in a Microsoft Access database, a set of SQL statements, one after another, then unfortunately Microsoft Access does not have built-in functionality to support this. So, for instance, if you have a set of uh, statements for creating your database, uh, create table, uh, alter table, and perhaps also create uh, index statements, then uh, if you want to uh, create uh, your database uh, based on these statements, then uh, by default, you have to open in Microsoft Access a query window and you have to start to execute the statements one after another. And of course, uh, if uh, there is uh, if there are a lot of statements, then uh, it is uh, quite uh, time uh, consuming uh, process. Uh, I can offer you uh, a program that can simplify your life in this regard. This program is actually a Microsoft Access template uh, database that contains a small additional program. This program has been created by using Visual Basic for application, and uh, it has been created uh, based on uh, source code uh, fragments that are uh, freely available uh, from the internet. If you open the template file, then this form will pop up, and uh, here you can select a SQL file uh, that contains the statement uh, that contains the statements that you want to execute one after another. So uh, here I click on this button, select uh, SQL file, and uh, from here I can uh, have to select uh, the file. And now, in order to execute the statements in the file, I have to click here on the button, execute the SQL statement. Uh, the program tells me that the execution uh, was completed. And uh, as you can see, right now, uh, under the section of tables in this window of uh, Access Database Objects, I can uh, actually see the names of the tables that were created uh, by executing the uh, statements. Now, uh, if uh, some uh, if the execution of some of the uh, statements uh, fails, then information about this uh, uh, is available uh, uh, from here. If you click uh, on the button, errors that occurred due, uh, due to executing uh, the statements. And uh, here are reference, uh, references to the statements which executions uh, failed. Uh, as you can see, currently there are no such uh, statements. Uh, however, uh, it could be that, uh, for instance, if you execute uh, SQL, uh, SQL script that contains create table statements, uh, these create table statements contain uh, references, uh, uh, contain uh, uh, declarations of constraints, like foreign key constraints. Uh, these uh, declarations uh, refer to uh, other tables that uh, should already exist in the database. And uh, in this situation, if uh, execution of uh, one of uh, create table statements uh, fails, then uh, um, execution of the following statements uh, could also fail uh, in a cascading manner. So you could actually find uh, references to a lot of statements uh, here. Uh, in this case, my suggestion to you is that you should uh, go back uh, to your uh, script file. You should uh, look the file, you should look this uh, information here, and you should try to figure out uh, what was wrong, uh, what was wrong uh, in the statement uh, in this script file. And you should try to fix uh, the statements in your script file. And uh, after you have done so, then you should download a new copy uh, of this template uh, database uh, that has no um, tables in it. 
and you should try to execute the uh, script again. And you should do it uh, until uh, execution of all the statements uh, in the uh, file uh, will uh, succeed. Uh, also, if you look this uh, form here, then uh, it has a button export to physical statements. So if I uh, click here, uh, then uh, after that I can go to the uh, folder uh, at the C um, uh, disk uh, with the name temp, and uh, this folder now contains uh, three uh, files. Uh, SQL add, uh, SQL create, and SQL uh, delete. So this SQL uh, create uh, contains uh, create table statements uh, that were generated uh, based on the uh, existing uh, database. Uh, SQL uh, delete contains uh, drop table statements for uh, dropping the tables. And uh, finally, a SQL uh, add uh, contains uh, insert statements for adding data uh, to the tables. And all these statements were generated based on the existing database, and these statements were generated for uh, Postgres Cloud. So uh, Microsoft Access does not have this kind of uh, built-in functionality uh, either. Uh, so, um, uh, if you want to export your uh, database uh, as a set of SQL statements, uh, you should use uh, this uh, program uh, here. And uh, for instance, it could be used uh, uh, in order to migrate uh, the database uh, to PostgreSQL. So, if your initial database was made in Microsoft Access, then it would it would be possible to export uh, the uh, database as SQL statements, and later these SQL statements could be executed in PostgreSQL to already uh, to uh, create um, tables and to uh, add data to the uh, tables in uh, PostgreSQL. Uh, so if you uh, find uh, this program useful, then uh, please uh, use it.